Today we are going to discuss the Curry and Cory coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is for Currier O'Curry of Ireland, specifically of Thomond in Ireland. And I know here that says one member of this family was Eugene O'Curry, born 1796, a scholar. Next is Corey of Walesboro in the parish of Marham Church in Cornwall, England. Confirmed in 1612 to John Corey of London, gentleman, son of Robert Corey of Tibbenham in Norfolk, who was the grantee. And he was son of Thomas Corey of Bramerton, who resided in London. And John had son Thomas Corey, born 1591 of the Inner Temple, whose coat of arms is on the next slide. This is Thomas Corey, the Inner Temple, Court of Common Pleas, and one of the benchers of the temple. And it was also born by Rear Admiral Nicholas Corey, born 1795. We have Corey of Langdon Court. Richard Corey purchased Langdon Court in Devonshire, England in 1876. He was son of William Corey, a London coal and shipping magnate who descended from the Coreys of Stratton. Here we see Langdon Court. This coat of arms was granted to Robert Curry, Esquire, who died in 1849 of Hearn Hill in County Surrey. He was a tobacco merchant and wholesale business owner on Fleet Street, and he had son John Blades Curry, born 1829. Here we have Ghouls, a satire argent, a rose in chief of the last barbed and seated vert, crest a cock Ghouls. This was born by numerous branches of the Curry family in including Curry of East Horsley in Surrey. Uh, William Curry of East Horsley was son of a banker named William Curry, born 1721. And it looks like they ultimately descended from a Scottish family that settled near Dunce in County Berwick in 1571 that derived from Cuthbert Curry, a cadet of the family of the, that ilk in Annandale, Dumfrieshire, Scotland. Also by Isaac George Curry, born 1792, the son of Isaac Curry, both of Bush Hill. Curry of Cheshire, Robert Folks Curry, born 1776, medical doctor, son of William Curry of Boughton Hall in Cheshire, also a medical doctor, who was the son of William Curry Carlisle of Dumfrieshire, also Phantom Hall in County Hertfordshire. There was John Curry of Phantom Hall, who was alive in the year 1824, who bore this coat of arms. And here we see Boughton Hall from Cheshire. The same coat of arms was also borne by the Currys of Minley Manor in Middlesex. Rakes Curry, born 1801, was a member of Parliament for Northampton and partner in a bank, along with his father, Isaac Curry of Bush Hill, who we discussed previously. Here is Minley Manor. So the arms of the Curries of Kelwood and Newby in Scotland, although the Newbies didn't bear the the the, uh, the chief sable. The family held Kelwood until the end of the 16th century. There was John Corey of Kelwood, who was born in 1532. And it looks like, if we trust this genealogy, they ultimately descended from David Corey or Curry, who was who lived in the 14th century. Next we have Curry again with a rose argent as in the arms. Not sure who wore this one, if that was the previous family or not. Here we have the Curry Baronetcy of Wickham's Bishop, a title in the Baronetage of England created in 1847 for Sir Frederick Curry, seen here, born 1799. Secretary to the Indian government and a member of the Supreme Council of India. He was the third of eight children of the banker Mark Curry of Upper Gatton in Surrey.
Next, we have Martin Wilkins Gal D. Winton Corey Esquire of Straw Hall in County Carlow, Ireland, who was born in 1822 and died in 1885. Ghouls on a satire or in chief arose the last Crestacock Ghouls. Wasn't able to find the armager for this one. Same situation here. It's the same arms with an aborder or crest a demi lion argent. Corey of Northumberland, Cumberland, and Stratford. Now, with the chief azure instead of sable, is the arms of Sir Walter de Corey of Cumberland, keeper of Dumfries, Wigton, and Kirkudbright castles in Scotland. He was initially loyal to the King of England during the Wars of Scottish Independence and held land at Levington and Cumberland. That looks like it was laid to waste, and he died in 1303 and was succeeded by his 22-year-old son, also called Walter D. Corey. Curry of Manchester, granted to Miss Louisa Curry of Manchester, daughter of the late Major Martin Curry of the, seven, of the 67th Foot Regiment, And to her uncles, Francis Curry and Paul Curry, and to their descendants, the family descended from the ancient family of O'Curry. Here we have Reverend Henry Corey Eid of St. John's College, Cambridge, son of Elizabeth Wyman Corey. Um, looks like he took this surname in lieu of E by royal license in 1864. There's also an arms, which I wasn't able to find, that was granted to Daniel Corey, born 1777, of Colsterworth and Osbornby in Lincolnshire, and Morcott in Rutland. He was a Anglican priest and bishop. He was a bishop of Madras and the son of John Corey, a vicar of Lincolnshire. And there was also a Christopher Corey, son and heir of Thomas of Northumberland, who was granted a coat of arms on November, ter November 23rd, 1579 which I wasn't able to find. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.